basic overhand knot on a bite. Okay, so you want to have a tail over here and you basically make the same motion but you're using this loop. So I'm coming underneath, you can see that, I'm coming underneath and then what's going to happen is this loop's going to go through the hole and pop out the other side. This makes your basic overhand knot on a bite. Okay, your basic overhand knot on a bite. So I'm going to have the tail end. I'm going to create a little bite here, a little loop. Here's the tail end. I'm going to come around in front of, and then I'm going to take this loop. I'm going to go behind and notice it peeking through. So I'm going to be just like this, and I'm going to pop it through towards us. Now, from here I have kind of a jumbled mess. I have to pull everything clean and that is an overhand knot on a bite. Okay now let's talk about overhand knot on a bite. Okay so I'm here I'm just gonna make a simple overhand knot Oops, not a figure of eight on a bite, overhand knot on a bite. Okay, so there it is right there. What are we going to use this for? Hmm, let's see. Maybe we'll hook our water bottle to it, use it to hold that. Something like that. Okay, something light duty. You don't want nothing too crazy. You don't want it to be real heavy of a load, otherwise this will tighten up and it will be difficult to get out. And the result might be, uh, you might have to cut this. So light duty applications overhand knot on a bike.